Hey everyone, it's Mike from Lifestyle Boudoir and welcome to the channel. You know, when women are thinking of having me photograph them, they'll often check out my website or visit my Instagram first. When they see that my photos don't look like typical studio shots, I'm often asked, where do you shoot? Well, this video is going to be a quick tour of some of my shooting spaces. So let's get into it. Okay, I'm going to go into uh, all the various little areas. There's me in the mirror. So the makeup mirror, we can use the, the clothing rack with their outfits to sort of dress it up. And then it looks very much like backstage at a burlesque uh, show or something. This is the display album area, as you can see, uh, various different kinds of leather albums. You'll notice I have candles going. Uh, it just, it adds to the ambiance, it smells nice, it helps put the client in a really nice headspace. So this is an overview of the living room, which is also my presentation area. You can see I have a 55 inch TV there, as well as uh, the display of print sizes above it. Now, when you see photos on a TV of this size, there's no mistaking if you love it or not. The next area is the restroom. And a lot of people don't think the restroom is such a great area to shoot in, but I beg to differ. If we go inside, turn around, See, I have a really cool mirror here that has a light that goes all the way around it uh, and it produces such beautiful soft light that I could have the client sitting on the vanity and that's the only light I would need. But often I'll bring an extra light in too if I need to sculpt the body. And then I can do some really cool sort of voyeur feeling shots from here. So the bedroom obviously can be super versatile, but I have coverings in pretty much every color. White I usually use first for the sort of innocent and purity feeling. Uh, but we also have leopard spotted, red satin, black satin. Uh, you know, it it's, depends on the mood I'm trying to create and the outfits that they're wearing. Now, right now it's just lit with the window light uh, with the uh, uh, practical lights on in the background, but it's pretty cool because I can close uh, the blackout curtains that we have here and then light it very dramatically and it looks like a nighttime scene. Uh, so here's some photos from the bedroom set. This is our corner. Uh, we can do a lot in this corner. Uh, you can see I have apple boxes, I have ladders, um, and then a bunch of different lights uh, I'm going to show you some photos now from this area, and I think you're going to be pretty surprised how they look. I use the windows a lot. It's usually one of the first setups I do. Uh, the light is pretty controllable. Uh, I can lift up the Venetian blinds, and when I have the shears uh, closed, it's just a giant softbox. Here is a wider shot of the window area that includes the floor. Now, I gotta tell you, I use the floor a lot. And I'm gonna show you some samples from the floor area. So this is the balcony with the egg chair. I can also take those out and just extend the balcony a little bit farther. And then again, I can shoot from inside out and get some really cool shots that way too. All right, so I don't often shoot in the kitchen, but I'm gonna show you a few shots that might change your mind. Take a look. Okay, so we're gonna start at my front door, we'll walk outside, and our first area is actually right here. Pretty simple little area but as you can see, we can use it for photos. So now we're gonna take a little walk down the ways. And the next area we're gonna to go to is the basement stairwell. 
and I get some really cool dramatic shots there. Uh, just a short little walk from my front door, and we're almost there. And so we're going to go down a couple of flights of stairs. And this is where it starts. So I'll often use this little spot here. And then for a very industrial look, we have the corner here. And then I'll do many just shooting up this direction with uh, some dramatic lighting. So now we're outside my building and we're going into a parking garage underneath and you can see right here I have these fun little pipes again for a very industrial look. Sorry if it gets a little bit dark. Okay so over this way we have another like super industrial looking spot which is really fun with this cement column and these vents. Then we have this great concrete wall here, really fun. And then we have these amazing like spotlight effects that look really cool in photos. So across the street from my building, we have the North Hollywood Red Line Metro Station. And it kind of looks fun like this. And you have these really cool escalators that go down. can't do this with boudoir most of the time, but it is a fun little area to shoot in. And in normal LA fashion, the up escalator is always broken. So I'm not gonna take the steps, I'm gonna take the elevator. Okay, so behind me you see this gold wall. This is another fun little, just very plain background that has some texture to it. And around the corner, we're gonna walk over this way We have the El Portal Theater, where I'm going to show you a few photos right now. And we have this fun alley. I like the colors on the ground. But what I also like is these lights that are strung across up here. Because at night, they produce a really cool effect. And if we walk back a little bit farther, there's this industrial looking building with this really red door. And it's just a really cool place to, to shoot. I love, I love the bricks, I love the red door. Okay, now we're going towards the parking structure across the street. And this stairwell is pretty cool. I usually go up a couple of flights. So right here, we have all this light coming in from this side to produce some nice side lighting. Or we can go up here and include the rails. Now, inside the parking garage is nice, soft light. Uh, you can get pools of hot light, which you're going to see here in a second, if you want that. But if you were to come over here and just squat down, you can see you have nice soft light here. And if you want some really contrasty backlighting, you can shoot right here. And that's pretty cool. But the next thing is gonna be the best. I've gotten such fun stuff in these elevators. Going up. Sixth floor. Going down. And then of course we have the elevators in my building, which kind of look like this. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the business center. And this is a really fun place to shoot as well. We have this area here. The yellow seats. 
the gray pole. All really fun. And if we go back outside, we have this little seating area, which is really cute. We also have this nice little seating area out on this side. And then the pool area. Nice big pool, the lovely cabanas. Over here, we have the outdoor slate shower, which is really pretty when it's lit well. And we have a duck. Get a little closer over here to the cabanas. Now these used to be much cooler when they had white sides instead of these sort of circus tent look, but it still works. And then of course we have the hot tub here. So those are my outdoor areas. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. This was just a brief sampling of some of the variations of the areas I shoot in. In such a short video, it would be impossible to show you all the possible variations. Now, if you wanna see more of my work, you can always check out my website, the link is in the description, uh, as well as my Instagram. Now, honestly, the Instagram is updated far more often, you know, a few times a week, so you're always gonna see the newest stuff there. I hope videos like this and others on my channel will earn your like and subscribe, because in the coming year, there's so much more content coming. So until next time, thanks for watching, and I will see you soon.